Showtime for the Raptors as they pulled into the building, a squad that looks more than ready for the game ahead of them. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Here are the five for the Raptors. They've got Gary Trent. Pirtle is out there with Scotty Barnes. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's quickly in a point guard. And for the Nuggets, sharing the wing spots, it's Caldwell Pope and Porter. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. And it's Murray in at the one spot. Well, Greg, both of these teams love to push the pace. Think we're in for a high-speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. And it goes down two points. And the teardrop coming from a seven-footer? No one is stopping the Joker there. Passes it to Barnes. Over Gordon. Shoots from eight. And that one hits back iron. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for Denver. Down low. And Pirtle sends it back. Pass to Quickly. Rebound by Murray. Here's the Nuggets now with the ball. Caldwell Poe passes to Jokic. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Trent can't hit. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over it. Porter looking it over. Jokic shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Scotty Barnes picks one up. And it's a challenge trying to guard Jokic from there. Adept at making you foul him on the way up. And with Jokic now a finals MVP and an NBA champion, Greg, he's already an all-time great. And could go down as one of the greatest Take players a Take a ever. Break. He Too started short. to pile up the hardware and awards. Amazing what he could accomplish the next few years. No good on the free throw. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's the driving force, no doubt. But, Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players, guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. And he's good on the second. And if you were to assemble a first-team all-second rounders, Jokic would be a shoe-in. Hurdle finds quickly. Back to Pirtle. Tries again. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. The free throw drops for Pirtle. Greg talking about Jakob Pirtle. It doesn't seem like he gets enough credit for his defense. I don't think he does. I mean, he's an excellent rim protector and rebounder and a big man who just takes pride in defending. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Quickly with it. Now defended by Jokic. Murray against quickly. Now the pass to Jokic. And stolen by Barnes. Pass to Trent. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Murray against quickly. Rebound by the Nuggets. Amazing tenacity attacking the basket. And I'm sure he won't miss that next time. 
Caldwell Pope against Trent. Murray outside. Six on the shot clock. And no good to start the night. Missing his first attempt there. Raptors trail by four. It's hauled in by Gordon. And his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Now here's Murray. Following the miss by Scotty Barnes. That one goes in. And inside Murray's attacking mentality pays off. He just works hard to find his own shot. So timeout call here. The first for Toronto. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. up here for the Nuggets. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Passes it to Abaji. Takes the 12 footer and hits. Denver leading by four. Jackson kicks to Watson. Pass to Strother. Nuggets six. The Nuggets with a new 14. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. And that one drops. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Jackson passes to Brown. Back to Jackson. And there's another one for the Nuggets. Well, Reggie Jackson getting more and more confident as the ball handler in pick and roll action. That is nicely done. McDaniels with the ball. Still without a basket. Dick passes to Brown. Yep, that one goes in there. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Here's Najee. Pass to Brown. Going inside. Goes back up. Draws contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more, creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. The Nuggets have converted one or two free throws so far today. What's up? And that one misses. You know, Greg, for the Olympics, basketball is a shared family passion. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's father was a coach, but his mom was actually the first woman to be an NBA scorekeeper. So he was raised around the game. Here's Abaji. Brown outside. Here's the three. Trains the three-pointer. Brown's got five now. 
what a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Outside Jackson. They grab their own miss. No good on the last second attempt there. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Nuggets on top, leading by three. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And the Nuggets, guys, what jumps out to you numbers-wise? Playing inside out in that first quarter led to some high percentage shots in the paint. It is great when you can get that established early because, to me, it opens up every other aspect of your game. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for the Raptors. It's a three-point game. The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. And it's Jokic in at the center position. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And they try to stonewall Jokic, but he's not having it. He's just fearless going up inside. From 12 feet out, and he gets the bucket. Quickly's got his first bucket in this one. The Nuggets leading by three. Murray outside. Caldwell Pope outside. There's the pass to Jokic. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Old. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. And of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. No good on that one. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. And he can't hit the second. Doris, we know one thing the Raptors had benefited from was consistent leadership. There's no doubt about that, Kevin. You think about the front office consistency, and success in the NBA generally starts from the top and trickles down. You can absorb a coaching change and still have a culture in place because, again, things start at the top. Hurdle kept alive, and another shot. Not going to go that time. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Good on that shot. And with that, the Nugget lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Trent. Pass to Gordon. Porter against Barrett. Porter passes to Jokic. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. And 11 points for Jokic. Smooth light butter. Jokic can make you pay from anywhere. Trent against Caldwell Pope. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Lynn. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there?
The free throw drops for Trent. And Greg finishing last season with the number one seed in the Western Conference. A lot of people still slept on the Denver Nuggets. And Kevin, they've had great regular seasons before, only to fall short. But with a healthy Murray and Porter Jr., the Oakage finally had the help to get it done. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Porter kicks to Jokic. Toronto grabs the miss. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Trent passes to Barrett. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And it's Porter with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. And the call will be against Emmanuel quickly. That's his first foul. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Some changes for Toronto. Olenek comes in for Jakob Bertel. And Dick subbed in for Trent. On defense, Toronto. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Murray against quickly. Lob pass to Gordon, and going out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes. And the Nuggets with some changes. Zeke Naji is checked in for Jokic. Christian Brown comes in for Michael Porter. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Jamal Murray. Raptors also changing it up. Daniels is checked in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Bruce Brown in for quickly. Four on the clock. Here's Gordon. Here's Najee. Olenek is covering. Najee, no good. The Raptors have gone 3-7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Barnes finds Brown. And finished off by Brown. When you have vision at the forward spot, it always opens up and elevates a team. Scotty Barnes passing on display. Pass to Gordon. Here's Brown. Denver passing it around. And it's Gordon finishing it off. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Now, here's McDaniel. Nothing on the board. Olenek has the open look. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Olenek giving the defense no time to react. Quick catch and shoot. Outside Jackson. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to Jackson. Now here's Caldwell Pope. He's tightly guarded. It's rebounded by Dick. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Barnes looking around. Gordon with the defensive effort. And, you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Barnes outside. Brown outside. Launches it. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball in the three-point lane. Boy, big-time denial from Scotty Barnes. Use that frame to your advantage. No good. Left side, Jackson. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. How about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And the Raptors making a change here.
That's good from Jackson. Reggie Jackson, one of those guys who does a little bit of everything, can score it, can be a setup guy, can play the one, can play the two. You love his versatility. And that'll do it for the first half, a competitive game so far. Nuggets lead by four. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do. Uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. A pretty close game for the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. They gained a little ground there in the second quarter. And, Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Denver? They put a big effort in the rebounding battle, working to corral every miss. That's the hustle you love. They can maintain this approach. It'll give them the edge in other areas of the game. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. They need to play with better energy on D. Some of these guys are going to sleep out there. <sighs> anyway, they've allowed over 50% shooting. Gave up way too many open looks. I'm sure they're here in the locker room. Maybe they'll come out in. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. One of the stories here, Jokic getting it done today. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. So the Raptors five right now. Gary Trent is out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then it's Barrett. Then there's Scotty Barnes. And it's Pirtle in at the five, roaming the paint. And one outstanding things the Raptors do, Greg. They really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. Here's Barnes. It's good. Barnes has got the game tied up here for the Raptors. You get the sense Scotty Barnes is very comfortable in the painted area. That's easy work. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Jamal Murray had to be patient working his way back to peak form after his ACL injury. Luckily for him, hard work is nothing new. He says, I feel like I got better in the time I was out. I don't overthink when it comes to basketball. If you want to let me shoot, let me shoot. I'm just confident in my game like that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, very confident, right, D.A.? Thank you. Trent gets the bucket. I tell you, the burst on that drive by Gary Trent Jr. was impressive. Defense was in his hip pocket. Pass to Gordon. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. And the Nuggets making a change here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. Fertile against Jokic. Back to Murray. Just four to shoot. Rebound by the Raptors. Pirtle's got four rebounds now tonight. Barnes outside. The dish to Barrett. For the lead. The pass to Quickly. Over Murray. And it's Quickly missing. For Denver, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room with the break. It's good from Gordon on the assist by Murray. And it's six points for Aaron Gordon. 
And you think Murray all about scoring, but Murray is about what helps his team win. Acted quickly. A three ball. Sinks the triple. Quickly's got the lead up to one now for Toronto. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Murray, the pass to Jokic. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And not easy defending Jokic. His height puts the defense in a tight spot, and they just slipped up there. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. And the first one drops. Christian Brown's checked in for Gordon. And Toronto also making a switch. Olenek's checked in. And he makes both free throws. Now Toronto Doris losing in the play-in was a disappointment to say the least last year. But we know this is a young team. Well, to your point, Kevin, if you look at the minutes distribution, in the top eight, seven guys were under 30. But you've now had a head coaching change. There are some decisions to be made about which direction you're going in. Are you developing that young talent? Are you moving pieces to try to acquire a more veteran team? And you already see the great range of calling card of Porter's, even back in high school, shot 47% as a senior. Now, here's Barrett. Still yet to score. Trent outside. Feeds it to Olenek. Over Porter. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Over in the corner. Called well poke. They get it back. Porter against Olenek. Porter dishes to Murray. Second chance shot. And at last, they get one to fall. And now a four-point Denver lead. Caldwell Pope against Trent. Chalk up two there. Trent's got 13 points. How about the floater? Folks, a floater's a tough shot, but Gary Trent Jr. makes easy work of it right there. Murray, the pass to Brown. Takes it inside. Outside for Murray. Over quickly. Murray, no good. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And R.J. Barrett Doris continues to do what he's been doing since he stepped onto an NBA court. I would say, Kevin, this guy is what we call a natural-born scorer. That is first and foremost his instinct. He loves to get off the dribble drive. And what we need from him is just more consistent outside shooting because that opens up the best aspect of his game. And he knocks down the first one. I think one of the things I most admire about R.J. Barrett's game, he can do a little bit of everything. He can score it, board it, pass it at a high level. This young man can play the game. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Abaji's checked in, and it's Brown in for quickly. And so Barrett nails both of them. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Outside Jackson. Passes it to Jokic. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Oh, Linux got four rebounds in this game. Brown against Jackson. Brown, no good. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Pass to Jokic. Eight feet away. Jokic doing the job inside. Oh, the Joker taking over. He's had his way offensively, making it look easy. Here's Brown, and good that time. 
Brown's got it all tied up now for the Raptors. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Out left of the wing. Here's Jokic. Jokic makes it look easy inside. Oh, the sturdy frame from Jokic allows him to put up the shot through contact. Three quarters of play in a close game here. The Nuggets on top, up by two. And we'll get going after this from Ball Arena. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. We've got Reggie Jackson, Aaron Gordon out there at Porter, and it's Watson in at the power four. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. We know Reggie Jackson has the quickness to get inside and the toughness to make a play, folks. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Denver. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Denver. McDaniels, he's checked in for Toronto. Quickly comes in for Brown. So he picks up just one from the line that time. The 2022 Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. But you know what, Greg? Still working to take that next step. What do you think is his key? Kevin, that's an easy one. It's going to be perimeter shooting. You know, we, we get spoiled with all the other things he can do. And he's had a tremendous start to his NBA career. But I think to become that superstar, the jump shot has to become a weapon. Just put the pass in his vicinity, and Aaron Gordon will take care of the rest. Quickly kicks to Olenek. Here's Dick. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Charity stripe shot. Here's Olenek. Lays it up off the glass. You know this. Uh, Olenek has a terrific motor. He's always been a high-energy guy who makes things happen. On the wing, Jackson quickly covering. Good on the bucket. And the Nuggets lead by five. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Here's quickly. Here's McDaniels. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Gordon dishes to Porter. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Gordon against Olenek. And it's Gordon missing. Raptors trail by three. Here's McDaniels. And it's off the back rim. No good. Nuggets have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Caldwell Pope against Barnes. Watson kicks to Jackson. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. Denver gets it back. Toronto's gone three to six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. And that one is good. Time out, time and that's out. right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. Denver calls timeout. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel Quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. <laughs> no pun intended. 
a volume three-point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane. Jokic, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Murray comes in for Reggie Jackson. Then for the Raptors, Yaka Pirtles checked in for Kelly Olynyk, And R.J. Barrett subbed in for McDaniels. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. Now, they preached the little things in the huddle. They asked their team to battle on those 50-50 balls. One extra possession could be all the difference. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. And the competitive nature of Murray making all the difference there, doing everything he can to rally his team. Now, here's Barrett. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got six rebounds in the game. Jokic finds Caldwell Pope. Murray outside. Back to Caldwell Pope. And Pirtle pulls it down. pirtle has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Dick. He dishes it to Pirtle. That one misses. Good defense by Jokic. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. One fifty-one left here in the fourth quarter. Quarter. Outside Gordon. For three, Murray. They get the rebound. Jokic on the foot. Jokic has got the lead up to seven now for Denver. Oh, you got to put a body on Jokic or he'll torch you on the offensive glass. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by seven. One thirty-nine left in the fourth quarter. Let's present our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. And with their spot in the postseason assured, he's picking up just at the right time to be on top of his game. For three, Barrett. And again, Toronto, no luck. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. One twenty-four left in the fourth. With the teardrop, and the layup is good. 
R.J. Barrett at a critical juncture, no hesitation. Wow. Here's Murray. Makes it off the glass. Murray's got the lead back up to seven now for the Nuggets. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Barrett, no good. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. And this is the key. In this game, you've got to be able to move your feet to be successful on the defensive end. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Raptors. Here's quickly. Porter pulls it in. On offense, here are the Nuggets. Outside for Murray. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Disappointing day for them. Let's see if they go down with the fight. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're leading by four. 16 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And the Raptors making a change here. Guys, they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. Yeah, and you can't afford to let that thing get any slimmer. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by six. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Quickly with a wide open look. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Well, the presence of mind from Kelly Olynyk, knowing someone's open, finds him quickly. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line.
drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Wow, I tell you what, those free throws will give them some much-needed breathing room. Two-possession game now. On the wing, Barnes. No good with the triple. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing, the ability to alter shots on the perimeter. That was beautiful. So we see Denver get the win here. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, it's just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. Nicola, a phenomenal shooting performance for you. Did you feel it coming? Uh, I mean, I was kind of lucky the ball was going in, and uh, my teammates were finding me, so it's, it's not just my effort. I think it's team effort. Not just my game. I think the, the, the whole win. Well, you all got it done down the stretch, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.